Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Just Rolled In. Customer states, ever since they replaced the heater hose, their CDs will not eject. The technician fixed the issue and said he's happy that he did not have to take this for a test drive. And this customer came in as they still have a coolant leak after they tried fixing it themselves. That's silicone, a plastic bag, bungee cords, the obvious zip tie, but that's a f***ing stick. Customer states they have washer fluid coming out of their battery. The technician found that somebody had rooted their washer hose to the battery vent hole on the other side. Customer states it's hard to turn the steering wheel. Hmm. Oh, here we go. And this customer came in as the airbag light is on. The technician found this scarf that was tied to the steering wheel and wrapped around the clock spring, causing it to tangle on turns and create static that interfered with the clock spring. Customer states, vibration in driveline. The shop wasn't informed on how this happened, however, they think this Jeep was left in four-wheel drive while being flat towed. And this customer came in as they can hear a grinding noise and see sparks underneath their car while driving. The technician said this customer's car is so low that the exhaust and fuel tank drags on the ground. The shop recommended to the customer to bring their car back to stock height and get a new exhaust but the customer declined all repairs. The owner of this vehicle called these mobile mechanics as their engine on their car runs rough, since they added vegetable oil to the engine. The customer said their car was low on engine oil, so they added 5 liters of cooking oil as that's all they had. These mechanics found this mess once they removed the oil pan, so they cleaned it all up and flushed the engine a couple of times. This customer's van was towed in because he apparently had another shop that tried replacing his transmission, but they could not figure it out. So he got it towed to this shop so they could finish the job. The transmission is not bolted to anything. There's no bolts. Whoever did it, cut the transmission lines, cut the exhaust. This, there's a fuel line over here that looks like it might be broken. This person's vehicle is off to the scrapyard after it was found to be unsafe to drive. And this is how the rear cross member was held together. Turn off. Then we got some piping. We got a exhaust clamp. Then we come over here. I don't know what these are. The customer of this vehicle brought it in as they said they tried to fix a U-joint on their drive shaft, but still have a bad vibration while driving. Customer states fuel leak. Customer states volume is maxed out but still sounds low. The technician found out that the customer installed some aftermarket speakers in the front doors, but never wired them in and also had cut the connectors. The speakers were also only held up by one screw because the window glass was in the way. Customer states they have a water leak and fan is wet under here. I see the water coming in from the back all over here. Until we get to right about here, where I go back and find this piece of electrical tape covering that. We called the customer, said it was bullet holes. Customer states he shot a hole in his floorboard to see if there was any bullets in his gun. Customer states they have a fuel leak from the rear differential. The customer just installed an auxiliary fuel tank and had it connected to the vent hose on the rear differential instead of the fuel tank. Washer fluid reservoir. Take a little air, put it in this here transmission hose. The customer said her husband found a hose sitting in the engine bay and figured it went to the transmission vent. The hose ended up being for the washer pump and he had attached it directly to the vent on the transmission. The customer drove for long enough like this that it ended up damaging the transmission and needed to be replaced. So every time they rent to wash their fluid or wash their windshield, they pumped washer fluid into the transmission. Customer states washer fluid doesn't spray after they replace their washer pump. The customer had connected a washer hose directly to the vent on the front differential.
customer states when pressing home screen on HUN unit of steering wheel, it goes to the temperature settings. The technician found this pine cone that rests against the touchscreen, which is enough of an input to go to the climate settings. He removed the pine cone and fixed the issue. Customer states. Interior cargo and dome lights don't work. Let's try to press that. Oh. There we go. Customer states their center console display goes out, and it's been off for the past 10 days. Customer states right turn signal won't stay engaged. This customer just purchased this Jeep for $7,500 USD and brought it in as they were told from the previous owners that it just needed the control arm bushings replaced. Unfortunately, the technician found the rear trailing arm mounts and frame to be very rusted. This rust is a common issue and repairable, but the customer did not get the repairs done. Customer states four-wheel drive isn't working. The customer just bought this truck and did not realize he bought a truck that is only two-wheel drive. The owner of this truck just had a new engine installed and after two weeks it had the turbo replaced twice. Long story short, this shop found whoever rebuilt the engine left a roll of electrical tape in the oil pan that got stuck in the oil pickup tube and would starve the turbo of oil. The technician also mentioned the engine ran fine before and after. And this vehicle was towed in as the customer said it just shut off on him while he was driving. The customer had an oil leak and tried fixing it with duct tape, but all the oil leaked out over time. This customer came in as they said they had another shop who work on their brakes, but they still don't work. The technician found that somebody had wrapped this leak and brake line with electrical tape. And this customer came in as her brakes don't work and the pedal goes to the floor. The technician found that this vehicle had a rubber hose that was used for the brake lines, and was told by the customer that they just recently purchased the vehicle as well. Yo, trying to catch me selling pancakes from under the seat, huh? Not gonna work on me. Customer states belt doesn't want to retract. This customer brought on their vehicle as they have a rattling noise from the driver's door. The technician removed the store panel and found all of these sugar coated almonds behind the door panel. And this customer's vehicle was towed in as they said their vehicle will no longer move after they slammed it in reverse at 70 miles per hour as they did not want to hit a deer. In doing so, the customer had ruined the front differential and transmission. This vehicle did not come in to get new ball joints installed, but now it will have them replaced. We need an upper ball joint too. Oh yeah. No, just fell off. Oh fuck. And this customer only came in to get a complimentary inspection and a new key programmed. Upon inspection, the technician found that the customer had ran over a street sign, which was still stuck underneath the car. Customer states he hears a noise after he installed new lug nuts. The technician said all four wheels had just one OEM lug nut, which kept the wheels from falling off. Great job, customer. And this customer came in as their engine is noisy. The technician found that the customer used a block of wood with a hydraulic tensioner for the timing chain should be. So we're doing an oil change. I've seen people bring their dogs in, their cats in. This one's a first. Baby goat. Wearing a diaper. A customer had their truck towed in as they said they have a ton of electrical issues after goats got into his truck. 2015 Duramax we got here. For some reason, this customer had used tan colored Plasti Dip everywhere on the interior of their brand new 2022 Ford Escape. The viewer who shared this said he's the one in charge of cleaning this and found that the customer even used Plasti Dip on the weather stripping. The customer also ended up trading this in for a vehicle with a tan interior. This vehicle was towed in as it won't start, which the technician found the engine to be seized. The customer mentioned to the shop that they never changed the oil since new, and the vehicle now has 78,000 miles on it. The technician said this customer's vehicle also had a full maintenance package included in their lease, and the technician included this photo, which you can still see the factory marking on the original oil filter. 
This customer's pickup truck was brought in as they said it has low oil pressure. This truck with a Duramax diesel engine has 22,000 miles on it and has never had the oil change since brand new and still had the factory oil filter on the engine. The technician also mentioned it had a ton of idle hours and was denied any warranty on the engine. And this customer's vehicle was brought in as they said the engine started to knock after they accidentally put a bottle of head gasket fix in the engine instead of the radiator. The technician said they drove for long enough like this, which damaged the engine and it needed to get replaced. When this customer brought in their vehicle for a brake line corrosion recall, the technician noticed this broken brake rotor on both sides. The customer was informed but declined all repairs. When this customer brought in their car to get the brakes replaced, the mechanic noticed that somebody had welded a smaller brake pad onto the back and plate of the old brake pad. And this customer's pickup was towed in as they had a catastrophic engine failure. The customer said they started to hear a knock around 1,000 miles ago, so they started to put thicker oils in the engine to try and stop the knock. The customer told the technician he started with 5W40, then 10W40, then 15W40, and finally tried 75W90 gear oil. This customer drove to the shop with their van in this condition. Once the shop told the customer what parts that needed to be replaced, the customer declined repairs and drove away. Long story short, this vehicle was towed in but the customer declined repairs to get new ball joints and a used tire installed and drove the vehicle away. Customer states they have a small oil leak. The only oil leak the technician could find was from the oil filter, which had JB Weld on it to try and stop a leak. <laughs> The owner of his vehicle came in as they wanted to see if the shop could fix the trailing arm on their SUV as they already tried fixing it themselves with spray foam. The shop advised the customer their vehicle was not safe to drive as all the tires were bald and the vehicle was falling apart due to rust. And this customer came in for an oil change and new tires. The mechanic said they couldn't lift up the car on a hoist as it was too low and had this custom body kit. This vehicle was brought in for some brake work and an alignment, but the shop declined to do any work on it as the camper was chained to the frame. The technician said the whole vehicle was rather sketchy, so that's why they declined to do any work on it. When this vehicle came in for an inspection, the technician found half of a baguette underneath the hood of this car. Ooh, this customer's car was brought in as the check engine light was on and it runs rough. During the diagnosis, the mechanic opened the air filter box and found an air freshener right on top of the mass airflow sensor that caused their issue. This customer's vehicle was brought in as they said their car has no power ever since they cleaned it the day prior. The customer mentioned he was told to put an air freshener on top of the cabin air filter, but the customer had mistaken that for the engine air filter, which caused the air freshener to get sucked into the turbo. This customer's vehicle was brought in as a customer says they have an oil leak in the center of the car, which a technician found a jug of engine oil that was leaking onto the carpet behind the driver's seat. And this customer had brought in their 2012 Mustang GT500 as they said it stalls on the highway. When it arrived, the technician found it to have no fuel, but also never had the oil changed since brand new and it now has over 12,000 miles on the car. This car was brought in for an alignment after the customer said he installed new lower control arms. The customer had mounted the control arms to the bottom of the subframe instead of the slots in the subframe meant for the control arms. And this customer brought in their vehicle as they said their front end feels loose after they apparently had another shop install new front struts. Whoever installed them must have not seen that the strut towers were separated. All right, customer states crunching noise when rolling down driver's window. Let's take a look as to why. Oh! Metallic sign wedged in the regular. What does it say? Free Asian pairs. Take some or all. Yeah. The owner of this vehicle just purchased this SUV six weeks ago and got it towed to this shop as it does not start. The technician said he's never seen anything like this and is unsure what caused this jello-like substance in the engine. The customer did not want it further diagnosed once the shop discovered this and had the vehicle towed away. <laughs> Customer states they hear a weird noise under the car ever since they resecured the splash shield as it was falling off. The customer had resecured the splash shield to the exhaust and front drive shaft. 
Customer states they have an oil leak after another shop installed a new engine. The technician thinks that whoever installed the engine installed one from a two-wheel drive model, which has a different size of oil pan, so the person who installed the engine smashed the oil pan to make it fit. This vehicle was brought in as the customer says they have a squeaking and creaking noise from their suspension, which the customer tried using Vaseline to get rid of the noise. The technician found the noise to be caused by both upper and lower ball joints. A few days prior, this customer failed a safety inspection as they needed new brakes. The customer declined repairs and said they will do it themselves. They are now back to get their vehicle reinspected, which the mechanic found that they never replaced the brakes and had mounted the brake calipers using wood screws. This vehicle was brought in as a customer says they have a small coolant leak. The technician found coolant leaking from the radiator as a customer had installed the radiator upside down. A mind blown. And this customer had a tire blowout on the highway, so they installed their spare tire. When the customer had installed the spare tire, they installed it backwards and also hit a curb on the way to the shop, which caused the spare tire to go flat. Since the spare tire was installed backwards, the customer now needs a new caliper and caliper bracket. And this customer brought in their vehicle as they have a noise while braking. The technician found out that the customer's son-in-law installed new brakes, but broke a bolt so they use a chain to hold a brake caliper in place. This vehicle was towed in as they said it does not start after they installed this fuel vapor contraption to improve fuel mileage. The technician had to reinstall the fuel pump relay that the customer removed and once he reinstalled it and got the vehicle started, the engine had a very bad bottom and knock. The customer ended up getting the vehicle towed away. This vehicle was brought in after the customer drove over a piece of metal on the highway. The customer, fortunately, didn't sustain any injuries as the piece of metal went through the center console and destroyed the shifter assembly. And the technician said this customer only came in to get a new clutch slave cylinder installed. Once the customer was told of the rust damage, they ended up not doing any of the repairs and drove their vehicle away. Customer states that he's got no forward, only reverse. There's the shift linkage, and there's the battery tie-down strap hooked directly to it. So it goes to neutral, not drive. Customer states she's having backup sensor issues, and the left gate foot sensor is not working. The technician had to inform the customer that their vehicle did not have those features. Customer states check wireless charger does not work even with taking their phone case off. The technician had to inform the customer that their vehicle does not come equipped with a wireless charger. This customer has owned this vehicle since brand new and has been at the dealership a ton of times with complaints in hopes to get the manufacturer to buy back the vehicle. Now the customer is back again as they said they hear a noise while driving and filmed this to show the technician. The technician duplicated the noise that the customer is making. This customer had brought in their car as they have a hard brake pedal and the check engine light is on. The technician found a pair of shoes behind the brake pedal, which he removed and affixed the customer's concern. This customer's truck was brought in as he said he had a friend rebuild the rear differential on his Dodge Ram 1500 but it's still noisy. The technician said whoever rebuilt the rear differential forgot a bearing race and did not replace a damaged axle shaft on the driver's side. Customer states vehicle has a lack of power. The technician was surprised to see that the customer put their funnel and turkey baster in the air inlet tube. <laughs> Another customer went to take this 2023 Subaru WRX on a test drive, but did not know how to drive a manual and shifted from third gear to first gear at 40 miles per hour. They broke the front differential and cracked the case. Customer states after locking vehicle with key fob, the car alarm will turn on. For some reason, the customer had a balloon filled with water and tied to a string in the back seat that would set off the perimeter sensor. And this mechanic found some needles in the headliner when this car came in to get a new windshield installed. Customer states break into a stop at any speed, there's a thumping noise in the right front. And this customer brought on their truck as they said their engine is making a loud ticking noise ever since the shop repaired it a week prior.
this customer brought in their vehicle as they said they recently had the rear brakes replaced in another shop, and now they are making noise. The technician found the outer brake pad to be metal to metal, and two of the pads were aftermarket, and the most inner brake pad was a factory brake pad. The caliper bolts were all loose, and the passenger side brakes were still original. The technician also asked which shop did the work, but the customer wouldn't say where it was done. Customer states they replaced the alternator three times, but the truck still doesn't charge. This F-350 has a propane mixer as it runs on propane, which is located right above the alternator. The mechanic found the fuse to be blown for the alternator circuit, as a propane mixer would touch the positive terminal on the alternator, then ground out on the hood. The customer didn't want anything repaired besides a new fuse installed and something installed to cover the positive terminal on the alternator. And this car was towed in as it would not start. The technician found that the amplifier power cable grounded in the trunk and melted the battery due to no fuse installed on the power cable. The customer tried to patch the battery using a lottery ticket, but that did not fix their issue. Customer states, check engine light is on and the transmission grinds. The customer tried to change the oil themselves but drained the transmission fluid and added more oil to the engine. The technician said this is the second time he's had to replace the transmission on this truck for this issue as a customer made the same mistake back in April of this year. This van was towed in as a customer accidentally poured diesel exhaust fluid in the engine of their Mercedes-Benz Sprinter van. The customer drove for long enough like this without realizing what he did and had the engine seize on them while they were driving on the highway. This vehicle was brought in as a customer put an unknown amount of hand sanitizer in the engine. The shop flushed the engine a couple of times and sent the customer on their way. Customer states the car he just bought only drives forward in reverse and goes backwards in four other gears, and he can also smell burning rubber while driving. The technician found that the previous owner had installed the rear differential upside down, as you can see that the drain plug for the differential is at the top instead of the bottom, and the coil springs were rubbing against the tires causing the burning smell. When this customer dropped off his car while the shop was closed, he accidentally locked his keys and phone in the car, so he broke his windshield to get his keys and phone. Club box not closing. Customer states radio changes stations on its own when driving over speed bumps or when turning. Customer states rub a noise in steering column when turning wheels right or left. The last time this vehicle came in, the customer had a complaint that when he takes off from a stop, he hears a loud bang. The technician found that an engine mount bolt was not fully threaded in, and the other bolt hole on the engine block was broken off. The customer declined repairs and said he was just going to junk the car. A week later, the customer is back as the customer says the battery was smoking, and he cut the battery cables to stop the smoke. The technician found that somebody welded a C-clamp to the engine block, but over time the C-clamp vibrated and contacted the positive terminal on the starter, which caused all of the smoke that the customer saw. Customer states he has a fuel leak on the driver's side after he tried swerving to miss some road debris. And this car was brought in as the customer said the new struts he installed apparently exploded. The customer had bought the wrong diameter of struts, so he ground off the bottom to try and make them fit in the spindle. But after he hit the first pothole, the bottom of the strut came apart. Customer states they hear a weird noise from the front of their vehicle while driving. The technician found that somebody zip-tied a harmonica to the grill. And the owner of this vehicle had just installed a new battery, but it's too tall for the battery compartment. So both negative and positive battery posts were constantly in contact with the metal cover that goes on top. This customer brought in their Lamborghini because their radio does not work after they apparently had their neighbor install it. The customer said he had his neighbor install it as it was a cheaper option than having a stereo shop perform the work. And this customer's Ford Raptor was brought in as they had an electrical fire, which was caused by unfused aftermarket accessories that were wired in by the customer. The customer's insurance company is paying for all the repairs. The owner of this Jeep brought it in as he said he just installed a new transmission that he bought from the shop and installed it himself, but it still won't upshift. The technician used a transmission testing tool that plugs into the main harness connector on the transmission that bypasses the PCM and can be used to manually change the gears. While using this tool, the technician found the transmission to be working properly, so he ruled out that the transmission was the issue and it's most likely something to do with the mess of wires. 
The semi was brought in as the customer said they have multiple electrical issues that other mechanics won't look at, and an issue with the diesel exhaust filter. The shop fixed the issue with the diesel exhaust filter, but did not fix any of the electrical issues, as it was a complete mess. The mechanic said the truck even had underglow, and only one set of train horns worked. This Mercedes-Benz was towed in as a customer said they apparently had another shop tear up the interior of the car to diagnose the issue why the car did not start and said it needs an ignition switch. The customer declined the technician's recommendation for further diagnosis or to get a second key to rule out any issues of the keys. The technician installed the ignition switch as per the customer's request, but it still did not start, so the customer eventually bought a second key which fixed the issue. And this customer brought in their car as they said the left front is grinding when tapping on the brakes too hard, and they can smell burning rubber. The technician found that the driver's side lower control arm was completely rusted through. He notified the customer of the repairs needed, but they declined repairs and drove away. This car was driven in as the customer wants their time and belt checked, as they have a bad shake while driving. The technician found that the customer has just been driving around on a flat tire. This customer brought in their Jeep as they said there's a thumping noise in the front end while driving. The mechanic found the front drive shaft to look bent, so he removed it and took it apart, and then he found this. The customer said they have no clue how this happened, and the mechanic said this is the first time he has ever seen a drive shaft turn into a Twizzler. Customer states passenger side rear window rolls down when closing the rear door. And this car was brought in as a customer says there's a clinking noise in the front. Customer states that his friend replaced a thermostat and radiator, but his car still overheats. The customer's friend made a custom gasket that covered the entire outlet passage that blocked coolant flow, which caused the overheating concern. Customer states, engine is making a really bad noise. The mechanic found that the customer had just recently installed a new timing belt and installed it incorrectly around his pulley. This Tesla Model Y was brought in as the customer says it pulls to the right, when not using an autopilot. The mechanic found that the customer had installed a steering wheel weight to try and trick the autopilot system into functioning as though the driver's hands were on it, by mimicking the presence or weight of human hands. When this customer's car was in the shop to get some work done, the technician noticed that this car had a subframe cut to fit this custom exhaust. Customer states that the infotainment screen is cracked. It started as a small crack and continued to crack larger over time. When this vehicle was brought in for an overheating concern, the technician noticed it was a load-bearing coconut which between the radiator and exhaust manifold heat shield. When this vehicle came in for a recall, the technician noticed an awful mildew smell inside of this car, then found all of this water in the back seat that the customer did not know anything about. At the time this was filmed, this customer's car was brand new with only 75 miles on it and was bought the day prior from this dealership, but it's now back as the customer said the car does not start. The day the customer bought the car, they drove in deep water and sucked water through the intake and caused the engine to hydrolock and the water to freeze overnight in the oil pan. The customer is now paying out of pocket for a new engine. When this vehicle was in for a recall, the customer also wanted to know if the shop could do anything about the interior of the car. The shop recommended to the customer to bring her car to a detailer. The last time this car came in, the shop told the customer he needed some work done on his car and the oil topped up at the same time, since it was low. The customer declined repairs and said he would add oil himself to save some money. Now the customer is back as he said the engine just started to knock yesterday. Customer states, I was driving my bus and I went to use my intercom to talk to my kids and my bus shut off. Hmm. When this BMW was brought in for a coolant leak, the technician noticed that the check engine light was on. He found that the customer had drilled holes in the catalytic converters and resonators and tried to patch the holes afterwards. What if I told you that on the back of this truck was a picture on the tailgate of the truck with the painted tailgate with the truck with the painted tailgate? If you've enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like or subscribing if you haven't already. And you can submit clips that you filmed on our website at justrolledinyt.com. Thanks for watching.